Hello everybody, welcome back to Tabi's recipe video. Today I will show you how to use wasabi in 10 different ways. So last week I showed 10 different ways of how to use umeboshi. Did you enjoy that video? If you haven't seen it, please check from here. In that video I told umeboshi is a very good condiment. So today I will show you another Japanese condiment. It is wasabi. Maybe you have eaten wasabi at a sushi restaurant when you go to izakaya and eating sashimi. Wasabi is a multi-purpose condiment. Today I will show you 10 different ways. So real wasabi is plant. The real wasabi is pretty rare also in Japan. If you find real wasabi in the supermarket or a soba restaurant or izakaya or sushi restaurant, you are very lucky. Please use that. But it is pretty rare. And regularly, we use these type of wasabi, this tube style wasabi. And there are a variety of tube style wasabi. And I recommend the naming is this Hon Wasabi. Hon Wasabi. Please remember this kanji character, Hon Wasabi. The Hon Wasabi means real Japanese wasabi. Sometimes it's not 100%. But they are using real Japanese wasabi. So I recommend this home wasabi if you can find at your Asian supermarket. You already know the simplest way to how to use wasabi is eating with sashimi. Today I prepared tuna sashimi. Now many people do take some wasabi and put into soy sauce and dissolve. Like this. And take one slice and put into soy sauce and eat. Mm. I love, I love tuna sashimi. Mm. I can taste the wasabi flavor. But soy sauce reduce the, the wasabi spiciness. But I love more wasabi, the, the unique aroma. It comes to my nose, nose, nose. I want that. So, to enjoy the real wasabi flavor, I recommend this way. So, take some wasabi with your chopsticks and put on sashimi. And take this slice of sashimi. Dip sashimi into this soy sauce. This is another soy sauce. I didn't dissolve wasabi into this soy sauce. Then eat. Mmm, mmm, wasabi came, wasabi came to my nose. Mm. I love this, I love this. Mm. If you are the beginner of wasabi, I recommend to dissolve uh, wasabi into soy sauce. But if you are a professional of wasabi, I recommend to put wasabi on top of sashimi. Next way is eating with soba. If you have been to soba restaurant in Japan and you ate zaru soba or mori soba, you might see this, this style. The on top of soba soup, soba dipping soup, green onion and wasabi. This is a very common style. Many people combine this wasabi into soba dipping soup. In that case, same as sashimi case, the wasabi aroma will be reduced. So if you want to enjoy the real wasabi, I recommend this style. So first, put the, the green onion into your uh, dipping soup. Of course, you don't have to use all. And take a little bit, very small amount of wasabi paste and put on soba noodles. Can you see? Very small. And take the noodles with wasabi. And dip dip into soup but do not do not put all soba noodles into dipping sauce half half please do not put all and slap mm. in this way you can enjoy wasabi flavor real soba flavor and dipping sauce flavor if you put wasabi into into the soba soup and you put all of soba noodles into this dipping sauce, the all flavors are combined. So I recommend to use 
separating way. Please, please try or oh, if you have a chance to eat soba noodles next time. So the next way is using as salad dressing. The last video, pickled plum, I showed you how to use pickled plum as dressing, salad dressing. Wasabi is also a good condiment for salad dressing. Combine one tablespoon of olive oil, half tablespoon of vinegar, half tablespoon of lemon juice, one teaspoon of sugar, and quarter teaspoon of salt, and put wasabi as much as you want, but I don't recommend too much. <laughs> and combine well. I love salad. I don't buy the dressing at the store. Okay, it's combined. Then pour over your favorite salad. You can add soy sauce if you like. And at that case, please reduce the salt amount. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, <laughs> the the kick. <gasps> Good to my nose. <laughs> mm, I love wasabi. The the come to nose. This is not so spicy. I added pretty much, but I think the olive oil reduce the 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 aroma of of wasabi. Hmm. I can enjoy the flavor of wasabi very well. The next way is using with soup. Yes, soup. Today I'm gonna be making soy sauce and wasabi flavored soup. It's pretty simple, easy. Pour one cup, uh, 240 milliliter of water into your pot and turn on the heat. Okay, it comes to a boil. So reduce the heat a little bit. Put half teaspoon of instant dashi powder and dissolve it. Today I'm gonna use spinach, some spinach leaves and kamaboko fish cake. And cook a little bit. Unfortunately, Japanese spinach is not edible as raw. So <laughs> we have to cook before eating. Come if the scum comes, please Take it out. Okay, and add half a tablespoon of soy sauce. Today I'm gonna add wasabi, so I don't use so much soy sauce. Soy sauce flavor will disturb the wasabi aroma, so I'm using less soy sauce. And for the last, I will add the wasabi paste. The quantity is as much as you want, but not so much. It will become very spicy. I'm using about half half teaspoon of wasabi paste. I think it's okay. So turn on the heat. Pour into your favorite soup cup. So, itadakimasho. Hmm. The wasabi, the very pleasant wasabi aroma came. It doesn't come to nose so strongly. It has aroma, just aroma. It's like herb. The dashi flavor and the soy sauce and wasabi flavor combined perfectly. It has balance. Not any flavor stand out. It's good. It's good soup. So from here, I'm gonna use wasabi for not so authentic way. I prepared the soy sauce I will combine with wasabi. Wasabi soy sauce. We call it wasabi joyu. Wasabi joyu. Hmm. This is very regular. So normal. Okay. I prepared avocado slices and pour over this wasabi soy sauce on top and sesame oil. Sesame oil like this. I sprinkle some bonito flakes. That's it. Pretty easy, simple, but it's good, delicious. Itadakimasu. Mmm, mmm. The aroma of wasabi and the sesame oil. It's so good, so good. The soy sauce reduces the, the aroma 
of the spiciness of wasabi. So, this is very nice. Matches with sesame oil. This is also my favorite one. So, the next one is also unique. Wasabi matches cheese. Can you believe it? Cheese wasabi. Yes, it matches. So, I'm gonna be making wasabi cheese toast. How do you think? How do you think? Cheese wasabi toast. So, first, spread、uh, cream cheese on top of your bread, favorite bread. Then, spread wasabi paste on it. As much as you like. I love wasabi. So, I'm using about half, half tablespoon. No, 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 half teaspoon of wasabi. Okay. Then, toast this bread. Okay, here is the cheese cream wasabi. Wasabi cheese cream toast. It's like a, it's like a, a basil paste on top. いただきます。Mm. Still, the wasabi flavor is here. <laughs> It matches with cream cheese very well. Of course, you can spread your wasabi and cream cheese on the toast. I prepared toast, spread cream cheese on top, and wasabi. Wasabi. So, いただきましょう Mmm. This way is also good. You can enjoy stronger wasabi aroma. Both are good. Of course, you can add butter or some sweet stuff. Please try it. Next one is also like that. Combine with mayonnaise. Wasabi mayonnaise. I think you have heard it. It's pretty easy. Combine this mayonnaise and wasabi. That's it. Put some mayonnaise and wasabi. As much as you like and combine very well. Both are like paste sauce. It's combined easily. It's very good dipping sauce. And dip your favorite vegetables. Today I'm eating with celery. I like celery with mayonnaise. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Good, good. Mayonnaise helps reducing the aroma, unique aroma or stimulation of, of wasabi. So it's no more spicy. It's just good wasabi flavor. And you can add soy sauce if you like another umami in this dipping sauce. Wasabi matches with everything. The next is also unique using with mashed potato. This is not the common, I think. But it must be good because in Japan there are so many potato chips with wasabi. So it must be good with mashed potato. So let's try. So this is mashed potato I cooked on top. Add some wasabi. This tube wasabi is pretty useful. Wasabi. And mix. Mix, mix. Wasabi aroma came.、Mm. Okay. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, it has, it has kick, but still it's potato. It's interesting. Maybe you can add、um, onion, onion powder or garlic powder. It's unique. It's like a horseradish. Wasabi is、um, similar to horseradish. So I think you like this. Wasabi is similar to horseradish. So, wasabi matches with meat stuff like steak, not only fish or vegetables. I have beef and I marinate with shio koji. Do you know shio koji? Shio koji is a new Japanese condiment. It's a multi purpose condiment and it makes the meat tender. Before I grill this meat,、uh, remove this. So, salt koji, shio koji. If you want to know how to use shio koji, please let us know in the comment. So, I prepared a frying pan, turn on the heat, and pour oil. Not so much. Okay, frying pan is ready. 
put this meat. Oh, nice sound. Mm, looks very delicious. I love beef steak. But today's main theme is not how to grill beef steak. It's wasabi. I will make wasabi sauce. It's a little bit burnt. Um, I use shio koji, salt, salt koji. It's a little bit easy to burn, easy to be burn, but it's okay, it's okay. I don't mind. I like medium layer meat, so I think it's okay. But the main, main preparation is from here. In this same frying pan, pour one tablespoon of mirin, one tablespoon of sake, and one tablespoon of soy sauce. And important thing is this wasabi. Put this wasabi inside and turn on the heat, low, and mix. Don't worry, the heat will decrease the, the spiciness of wasabi. The all flavors are combined and combined with beef umami. So turn off the heat and pour over the stick. Mmm, smells nice. Let's cut. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mm. The wasabi spiciness is not so strong. It's just aroma. It's good, match with this beef steak. And you can put wasabi on top of on top of this meat like this, like sashimi. This is also good. Yeah, spread a little bit. Mmm, mm. mm. I love wasabi. I like this way better. Not only in sauce, the put on the meat, the distinctive wasabi flavor is so present for me. Mm. It comes to my nose. It's good. So it's almost the end of this today's how to use wasabi in different ways. Wasabi is not only for cooking or eating, it's also good with liquor. Yes, liquor. Wasabi liquor. Mm -hmm. How do you think? Today I prepared shochu, Japanese shochu. I will add wasabi in it. So pour hot water in your in your cup. Sorry, I don't have I don't have the heat proof the liquor glass. I'm using mung. And add add shochu. I'm using the mugi jochu and add wasabi wasabi inside and mix mix well it become white the wasabi is dissolving in this in this shochu itadakimasu hmm. aroma wasabi aroma came mmm mmm good it's a it's like herb liquor herb flavor liquor, the uncomfortable nose coming, the spiciness is not here. Very good, easy to drink. Mm, this flavor is for connoisseur of wasabi. I think mugi jochu is good for this wasabi. If you like shochu, please try this. I already mentioned at the beginning of this video, the real wasabi is very rare and some restaurants have a real wasabi. If you find real wasabi at the restaurant, please try. It's different from tube style one. It's not so spicy, it's mild. The freshly grated wasabi. It's beyond description for me. So hope you guys enjoyed today's how to use wasabi in 10 different ways. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. If you have any request how to eat something something in 10 different days, if you have that, please let us know in the comment below. So thank you for watching. See you on next delicious recipe video. Bye!